What's going on you guys? <laughs> what is going on you guys? My name is Hugh and in today's video we're going to be joined by Brian to uh, work on stuff. So we're going to be working on the brake calibers and the lugs on this car. Um, these are the lugs we're going to be installing for today's video. These are the Godspeed 50 millimeter inch, 15 millimeter inch. <laughs> <laughs> Every, this will be in the description below if you guys are interested. This does fit Mitsubishi's and other uh, Mitsubishi modeled cars, but we're going to see if these fit on my car. And being that these are not 50 millimeters long, I got a feeling these ones up here are going to stick out way out. But it's for style, so we're going to try it out and see how everything goes. And the paint we're going to be using for the calibers is going to be close enough to that, so it's going to be this nice. Uh, kind of like a chrome blue, ocean blue, whatever you want to call it, which actually looks a lot nicer than the original color that I have on. It's more of like a flat blue. So this will kind of give it a little bit more shine to it and also, you know, fix all this stuff since uh, it's been a couple of years since last time I uh, painted this from Project uh, Raptor, actually. And the other thing I'm thinking about changing is probably these. These were supposed to be like this color, but I guess over time they turned purple? So I think the first thing we're going to do, we're going to jack up the car, we're going to start the front first, paint those, throw the wheels back on, and then paint the back and then let the car sit for a little bit so it dries. So without further ado, let's get started on today's fun project. Ow, my neck. Can I do the transition for me please? Okay, so we got both wheels off in the front and then all we're gonna do now is just we're not gonna take the whole caliper off We're pretty much just going to uh, Take this one bolt off here that way we can just kind of hang the caliper off just Hangs out like a door and then tape the pads in here. Why are you not focusing? And then we'll be able to tape off just the pads here and then the rest of the rotor. The plastic we're going to have is just going to cover up all this so it doesn't go all over in the paint. Tape all this stuff all up in here because I don't want to get the new springs either. And then plastic up the rest of this stuff. Sound fun? Yeah, let's do it! <laughs> I think we're missing something. Oh, that's right. Always sand your surfaces and use some of this stuff because this will help the paint stick better. Ah! Got myself. <laughs> I didn't even get the. I was way off. I didn't get. Oh, my. I was like way over here. All right, so we got to this side, and while that side is drying, we're going to go ahead and start here, but we have a problem. This broke. The bolt to this top part of the caliper broke. So I was able to try and put it back on because it snapped right between the screw and here. Unfortunately, I'm not going to be able to remove this out of the way to cover the pads, so either we'll spray paint over the pads like we did before, or I think what I might do is just try to like finesse it like this and just kind of go a little bit by little bit and cover it up the best way I can. I don't mind if I get paint on this, but I do mind if I get paint on my rotors. I guess in the future, I'm gonna have to get a new set of pad. Uh -huh. I guess I'm gonna have to get a new set of calipers, uh, at least just for this one, because or maybe try to find a bolt to replace this one, but. I highly doubt I'm going to be able to get the one off on this side that's stuck inside the screw. Not a problem, it's actually not going to go anywhere, see? Yeah, it's not going anywhere because I was able to push it right back in there, it's not going to move. We'll work around that, we'll just tape this off the best way we can and then cover the rotor and everything else and then we should be good to go. Well, this happened and 
Yeah. Okay, so I guess we'll, uh, I don't know, we'll try to find something else. I guess. Death! My balls! Say the good things about these lugs. They stick out a mile. <laughs> <laughs> Not really. No, it, I like the color on them. Plus, it's something different. Let me know down in the comments below. If you guys think these stick out too far, let me know. Uh, I'm, like I said, I'm all up for trying to do different things, and especially stuff like this. Because this is, this, is this is gonna be a look for her. That's gonna be very strange. You can rice me all you want in the comments, which is fine. It'll be hilarious. So definitely get a pair of these. If you have a Mitsubishi, get it. If you have a different car, as long as you get the right nut size, you're fine. You really had to say it, did you? I think he just nutted right in, on camera. <laughs> So we got the wheels back on, Pal palipers. Yeah, we'll call these palipers now. I actually went ahead and repainted the valve caps too because they were, were like purplish or something. So now that and this matches and then you got a nice brighter color of blue. This actually turned out pretty good. Although the issue is they stick out way too far than what I was expecting, but I, I guess it's okay. I mean, it's a style and uh, there's a few people that do like those ridiculous spikes one. I don't know. Let me know down in the comments. Uh, let me know what you think. I'm going to still keep the original lugs. So if I ever change my mind, I'll throw the original ones back on. But that caliper paint looks nice. It looks really nice when it's repainted and a little bit of a darker blue, not so flashy. And uh, the other stuff's like a midnight blue kind of thing. Yeah, man. So now I got to do the back. <sighs> So we'll see you guys in another three hours because I'm going to go do the same process here like I did with the back. So Brian had to go home early because he had to go to work and first thing in the morning shower time and I'll see you guys tomorrow for the finished and final reveal of what everything looks like. Woom.